this show tonight is essentially a, um, a retrospective of her stuff. Uh, <clears throat> quite often you'll see a show that has pretty much the same work all over the, all over the walls. But um, Siobhan's uh, very eclectic, very vibrant and has a kaleidoscopic kind of range of interests and that's in the work here this evening. Um, I'm sure most of you know her, but uh, for those who don't know her very well, she's been, in, been making art in the Byron area for 16 years. She started off doing some uh, workshops at Kurabel, which is a sort of a famous, infamous um, launching pad for many local artists. And uh, then she ended up at Lismore Tape, where she acquired um, a broader skill set. The work here tonight um, shows uh, the range of things that she can do. Um, and it's quite diverse from sort of abstract colour field work like the silver series on the back wall to um, the Dr. Sketchy drawings and uh, more narrative things involving the human figure. Um, the silver series um, responds to her interest in abstraction and landscape. Um, her career prior to becoming a visual artist was, was in textiles. Textile, yes. yeah. And Textiles gave her a great awareness of um, colour and texture and design issues, composition. How much of this do you put next to that to get an agreeable result? And you see that in the, uh, the sensual works in the back wall. Um, it also shows her interest in Rothko uh, and that notion of minimalism and colour field. You know, just not overstating spaces, but they have a vibration based on, on colour and texture. Um, she's applied that to some purely abstract things, those white ones on the back wall that have just silver foil and grey, there's not much there. You've got to really exert an imagination to sort of pull things out of them. But she's used that approach to the Manhattan skyline, that big dark one in front there is a response to New York, and the little one to the left, a swamp, which I also see a little bit of um, more Dutch heritage and Rembrandt's landscapes breathing through and that one um, is a similar approach using the local environment. The horizon dominates that work on the back wall. It's uh, sort of an omnipresent metaphor that you see around Byron. It's the ocean um, and uh, it's very calming, very, very beautiful. Um, the Dr. Sketchy, you've been one of the most uh, regular people going to Dr. Sketchy for four years, yeah. and she's also one of the most capable figure drawers that I've, that I've seen. You can tell someone who's really good with a human figure because they get the face right. You know, not just fluking it, but, but on a regular basis. And if you have a look at all of those sketches on that wall there, and um, there's a terrific semi-abstract face up here. She's got the face just right. Um, Siobhan's got a, an ongoing interest in, she came from a very cultured family, classical musicians, painters, poets, and it's Holland, you know, very rich place. And um, uh, I think this show reflects her interest in art history. Over here we've got some stuff that's like Leon Baxt and um, the Ballet Russe. Uh, that body of work um, focused on the, the Russian ballet company that came to Australia in the 1920s, wasn't 20s. it? 20s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And without that ballet company arriving in Australia, you would not have the sort of vibrant ballet dance culture that we have here these days. So um, this re references to, uh, to Max Beckman and Rothko, as I mentioned. It's a very rich show. So um, thank you, Siobhan, for uh, sharing this, this generous, vibrant work with us. Thank you. say something as well because I was very nervous last night laying in my bed and I'd like to uh, read the wind horse cards, the Tibetan Buddhist cards and I thought <coughs> how's it going to be, how's it going to be and I, I picked number 20 and it says celebrate the feast of faith and joy. It's so beautiful and the commentary says faith is based on genuineness, Gen be genuine, to be genuine Trusting in yourself and your vision. You are not faking anything. You are not trying to impress anybody. Faith inspires discipline. And here discipline is not based on punishment 
or rules or authority, but rather becoming gentle and genuine. So, and there's much more, but I'm not going to tell that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the card that I needed. Uh, it was celebrate the fe feast of faith and joy. And you know, I like to share my art with you. And sharing art is one of the my very favorite things in the world. And uh, I love all sorts of styles as long as they have soul, as long as they're true. And when you start painting and drawing, you know, when it's true to you, it's good. It's good because we all have our own truth. You're selective in what you want to paint and what you want to see. Like I see Christine making the video and I can see Belle and I can see all the other people, but I might just make a choice and just look at the camera because you gotta be selective and uh, it's all good. So good. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm very grateful to be in this uh, space. And let's have some music and some drinks. Action. Uh, action. Thank you. Thank you.